E aí galera, tudo bem? Estamos aqui no DCS World F16 Viper. Essa sequência de vídeos que eu estou postando são dos arquivos lá do canal do Matt Agner, aquele CEO que posta os vídeos acadêmicos do F16 Viper. Até o outono de, desse ano de 2019, ele vai lançar vídeos explicando algumas coisas sobre o F16. Como os vídeos deles são públicos, eu vou reeditar eles e colocar aqui no nosso canal com legendas do YouTube. É, vou colocar a legenda do YouTube lá, vou copiar o vídeo e vou postar aqui no canal. Como os vídeos dele, eu já falei, são públicos, não vai ter problema. E como o meu canal não tem monitoração, ou seja, eu não ganho dinheiro para postar vídeo no YouTube, eu acredito que não vai ter problema. <cười> Mesmo assim, lá no na descrição do vídeo eu vou colocar todos os links dos arquivos original do Matt Egner. F16 Viper, acompanha aí. Hey everyone, Wags here from Eagle Dynamics. And in this DCS F16C Viper video, we're going to be taking a look at basic navigation using steer points and the tack end. Navigating from point A to point Z and any point in between is going to be a very important part of any mission. Let's get started. Okay, so let's take a look at navigating the Viper, uh, both by steer points and by the TACAN. Uh, first, let's zoom in on the DED, and we see we have the CNI app, or the Communication Navigations IFF. And we can see that we're on steer point three, and the steer point can be cycled using the increment and decrement rocker here on the ICP. So we can increment to increase it, and decrement to decrease it. So right now with selected three, we see steer point three up here on the HUD and we're 52 miles from it. Uh, above that is our estimated time to reach it, five minutes and 51 seconds. Uh, through the HUD, the diamond, we see the location of that steer point. And then we have the tadpole. The line indicates the relative direction to the steer point. And the circle indicates the uh, essentially the lineup, either left or right or center to reach that steer point. And we see that we're in navigation mode. Now next, let's go to the uh, steer point page uh, here on the ICP to see on the DED. And again, we see we're on steer point three. And if we go uh, dauber right, we can cycle between manual and auto uh, sequence mode, meaning that when it's in manual, we have to manually change the waypoint or steer point, where if it's in auto, once you get close to it, automatically cycle to the next steer point in the sequence. If we dauber down, we can go ahead and we can actually modify the latitude, dauber down again, modify the longitude, again, the elevation, and then finally we have our time on steer point, which we can enter in there as well. Now coming down here to the uh, digital HSI, uh, we see the green arrow indicates the bearing to the steer point with its tail, and we see that we're 52 miles from it. Uh, using the course wheel, we can uh, adjust our course line to reach that steer point. And then of course we have the left and right offset and to and from uh, triangle indicators. And we can also select the heading if we wish as well. Now on the um, HSD page, we see our entire route lined up and each dot represents a steer point in the sequence and the filled in dot indicates our current uh, steer point that we have selected. Uh, also we see we have our bullseye indicator. Uh, in the center is the uh, range to the bullseye and below is the bearing from the bullseye to us and the little triangle points in the direction of that bullseye. And you can also see the bullseye symbol uh, here on the page. And we can increment and decrement uh, the OSBs to change the scale. And we can also uh, have it in depressed mode or centered mode, if we wish. Now also, upon the HUD, we have our bullseye indicator as well. Again, this is the bearing from the bullseye to us and the range to the bullseye. Uh, fine, let's take a look at tack in. So we'll uh, dauber left back to the CNI, and now we'll select TILS on the ICP to display that on the DED. So the Left half is for the TACAN and the right half is for the ILS. And we'll talk about ILS in another video. So right now the uh, TACAN is in receive only mode, but we can cycle that by going uh, dauber right. 
and now we're in transmit receive dauber again now we're air to air mode and then dauber back we're in receive only let's go uh, transmit receive uh, dauber down and now we can enter the attacking channel of the attacking station we want to navigate to. And usually the easiest and fastest way to check that is just going to the F10 map. In this case, we have Creech, and it's on channel 87. So as you might imagine, we'll just uh, press in 87 here on the ICP and enter, and we have that set. Now, if we want to change the band from X-ray to Yankee, we just press zero on the ICP, but we'll keep it at X-ray for now. And we do that, we'll come down here to the uh, electronic HSI, and the mode button will press twice, and now we're in TAC aim mode, and we see that the uh, Baron arrow now is pointing to the TAC end station, not the steer point, and we also have the range to it. And just like with the steer points, we can also adjust our uh, course line and our heading. So those are the basics of navigating in the Viper using steer points, uh, TACAN, and also a little talk about the bullseye. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you next time. Thanks.